and welcome to First Ed 4 from our temporary home while workers are busy constructing a new state-of-the-art set. We'll have more updates in the coming weeks. Yeah, that's out in the studio. We're now in the newsroom for the time being. But for the first time, we are hearing from Ohio's newest millionaire, Shaker Heights native Abigail Baginski, collecting the first $1 million prize from the state's Maximilian Lottery. And, of course, Montgomery County's Joseph Costello has won a full-ride scholarship to any college or university in Ohio of his choice. And 2 News reporter Madeline Ashley shares reaction from both on their exciting wins. The news of $1 million and a full ride scholarship came as a shock to Ohio's first Vaximilian lottery winners. Now both are looking towards their future and what to do with their winnings. I'm still not really processing it that well. I still can't believe it. <laughs> Of the nearly 3 million Ohioans who applied for the Vaximilian Lottery, 22-year-old Abigail Buginski and 14-year-old Joseph Costello, winners of the first drawing. When I started yelling that I won a million dollars and I was going to be a millionaire, they told me to calm down um, <laughs> and make sure it wasn't a prank before I really started freaking out. Buginski, unsure how to spend the winnings. Donating to some charities, but I don't really know the specifics yet. A GE mechanical engineer, Buginski has no plans to quit work. I love it at GE. I love the people I work with. Um, and as for future plans, I'm probably going to invest most of it. For Costello, winning the scholarship has him debating which school to attend. I know what schools I would, some schools I might want to go to, like Miami University or Ohio State University. Costello's parents are thrilled. It's the kind of thing that just happens, you know, maybe once in your lifetime, probably not. End of day May 30th is the deadline to enter the next Vaximilian drawing, and the next winners will be announced on June 2nd. In Dayton, Madeline Ashley, 2 News working for you.